What is up, everybody? How are we doing today? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings. I use he, him pronouns. I'm a variety streamer, and welcome to the Monday Lift. How the heck, how the absolute heck and heck are we doing? Hello. Oh my goodness. Who do we have here in the chat today? We have Andy. We have Callie. We have Paul. Callie, thank you so much for that resub for four months. Four months. We got Chris here. What and heck? Andy, hello. Remus, hello. And uh, ooh, we got Shrey back to the chat. Welcome in. Hey, it's that podcaster. Did y'all know? Did y'all know? Did y'all know that I am a I am a pood I am a pood caster. I cast poods. Uh, several times today I've, I've casted poods. Um, sometimes I listen to casted poods, but uh, today, 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 you get to go see a, a pood My cast. Life. My life. What's up, Bill? How we doing? That shirt. I guess I'll stick around. You know, Trey, I think you probably knew, right? Based on our discussion prior, I think you probably knew. You probably knew. And uh, to be fair, sorry, hang on, friends. Wifey's calling. I need to be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Sorry about it. Sorry about the little delay. Can't believe it's only been four months. Feels like longer, in a nice way. <laughs> what sports without a friendly rivalry, right? Right? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. It's been uh, it's been a while since I've worn since I've uh, since I've done worn one of these. Honestly, um, usually because you know I just this is like one of my like work uh, one of one of the like nicer nicer sweaters, you know. Um, anyway. Is this a typical pre-dinner lift, Remus? Hello. Or have you had dinner yet, my friend? I have not. I have not. Normally, I would lift in the middle of the day on Mondays, um, but I had just like a smattering of meetings, and we also had the release of our podcast happening, um, and I wanted to make sure that I was there for that premiere. So uh, we are doing we are doing an evening lift. Um, I saw that we have a wellness minute, and uh, I will absolutely do that. I think I'm going to wait a little bit. Is that okay, Callie? Because um, I, I want to make sure uh, we I get uh, things. Get things moving, because we're going to be on a deload. Um, and if anyone doesn't know what a deload is, I'm happy to uh, talk through it. Um, it is a magical thing. Um, ooh, three by three by 235. Um, and then we'll do some whoops and pop. Oh, this is awesome. Yes, okay, thank you. It's a good color. Oh, thank you, Trey. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. J Corsair, what's up, buddy? How we doing? How we doing? Welcome in. Uh, yeah, we're in the D load, which means that we are going to be uh, just like cutting everything back, really. So we're going to do a three by three by uh, 175. And if you know the volume feels good, um, I may up it a little bit. But 
Um, yeah. yeah. Let's rear delt raise this for 20 pounds. We'll do some heel drops for 20 pounds. Um, we'll move on to uh, Cossack. Cossacks. I'm just going to call them Cossacks. Um, three by six. Uh, we'll do some barbell curls, and that'll be at uh, d -d 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 three by eight by 55 pounds. Uh, we'll do some lateral raises with uh, 20 pounds. Um, <laughs> thank you, Bill. I appreciate you. Deload good. Rest good. PT, welcome back, friend. How you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, we'll do some DB incline presses and some tricep pushdowns. Um, uh, those are going to be with a cable, of course. And then we'll do some serratus presses. I'm just going to put serratus and v-sits. And that's going to be the day. That's going to be the day. It's going to be nice and nice and easy peasy. Um, I am probably going to stay mostly clothed. So uh, just, to, just to throw that out there. Uh, just because uh, I'm not even going to be like... Not that I'm not going to be working hard enough to like just like to get warm enough to take off all the layers um but i want to like only do that when i'm actually like too hot you know too hot hot dang all the don't don't do that don't do that but yes welcome in welcome in um i had i'm so, i'm so upset with myself i totally had um my wellness minute all prepped and ready to go oh there it is okay i found it Word. Let's get it. That's right. So we're going to start with some squats. And of course, before we do that, we're going to do a little bit of warm up. How is everyone doing today? How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Um, I was like really struggling to find energy today. I don't know what it was. Something in the something in the air, something in the something in the wind, something in the way she moves. Just couldn't do it. I think work really stressed me out, to be honest. I had one of those situations where I was like, life could have been a lot easier if like everyone would have just been like talking to each other uh, sooner. But since we didn't talk to each other, it was really difficult. And that's just, that's just how it goes. That's how it goes. All right. I forgot to set the platform as I should. So y'all get to deal with some kind of weird lighting, but that's okay. Oof. Mario steps really pushing off that alternating foot, engaging the posterior chain. Ah. Actually, I just realized music is pretty, pretty loud today, isn't it? I'm going to drop that down just a little bit. Cool. Cool, cool. I'll do some uh, inchworms, hips back, walking it down. Oh, nice stretch in the calves and lowering down. Coming right back up. Oh. Hips down. And we'll slowly walk it up. Raising up to the top. Open up nice and big at the top. And then push the hips back and walk it back down. So essentially what we're going to be doing is we're dropping the volume, dropping the weight down a little bit uh, all throughout. I'm going to be trying to work in a little bit extra mobility and stretching, particularly in the legs. I'm going to try to maintain the calorie surplus throughout this week. Um, and that is partially to make sure that whatever healing we have that needs to be done is getting a chance to happen, right? We work up all these tiny little injuries throughout the course of a training schedule. Ah, I was still on Discord, found a workout buddy. Had a great session today, it was way out of my comfort zone. Likes to be loud, and in return, I had to be loud. Problem is, I'm not a loud person. I saw that, Trey. How are you feeling about that? Are you feeling positively? I thought it was a, a trainer that you were working with. Was it just like a friend that you found? Because I know how that would make me feel. I know how that whole thing would make me feel. Oh. 
Because, you know, everyone's got their styles, right? If that's what someone really needs to, to get mega motivated, oh, I can totally understand. I'm going to do some child's pose. Pushing the hands out to the front. Going to give the hips a little bit of a wiggle here. Stretching out the lats. And we'll pull out to the right side. Pull that lat across. Creeping out with those fingers. Ah, and switching it over to the other side. Creeping it out. Inhaling. Exhaling. Sinking back into the hips. If you do not ever do child's pose it is like the easiest most relaxing yoga style pose and uh honestly like if you've never done a yoga session before just like learning that pose the one that i was just doing it's really great for just like relaxing you know most classes will tell you they'll teach you child's pose and then they'll say throughout if you're getting really overwhelmed or really tired, you need to just kind of like reconnect with your breathing to go into child's pose. Because it's a nice relaxing pose you can hold for a long time. Oh, here we go. Ooh. I'm his first ever client, but we do know each other from work. Gotcha. Gotcha. I mean, Trey, it's okay if you don't want to, um, if you don't want to share, but, uh, I mean, I'm curious, like, how, like, how did you feel about it? Was that mostly positive or was it, um, hard to explain? Okay. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll let you talk. Got some Gerard Way going. Hey, what up, LaCroix boy? How we doing? LaCroix boy, have you seen our, uh, have you seen our new LaCroix emote? Welcome in. I love this Gerard Way album. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. Work some uh, mobility. I'm gonna grab a weight here. Yeah, Croy Crew, baby. <laughs> Out of way. I'm gonna grab this. Uh, I'm gonna grab this weight, and I'm just gonna shift, shift my weight, left and right, trying to stretch that soleus muscle in the bottom of my calf. Just get some good mobility in before we do some squats. Ugh. That'll feel real nice. Can y'all hear me okay? I've been trying to adjust my talking volume when I know the mic is going to be closer to my mouth. That's so cute. I'm glad you like it. Hey, friend, but he also knows so much about fitness and he came kind of obsessed with allowing him to be my trainer. Sounds great. Good. Good. Yeah. So, Trey, especially if this is... so. And and you know this, this is your deal, right? Like I won't I won't I won't tell you tell you what to do. Um, if you like felt at all uncomfortable with the way that that session was handled, and like your friend really loves fitness and wants to be a trainer, um, what a like safe way. Like you're probably the safest person to provide the feedback to him that like he forced you into a situation and like acting the way that like you didn't want to act in the gym. Does that make sense? Because, like, you're friends, right? Like, you'll probably do it again. Like, you're already pretty commi committed to fitness. He's got a client that is just, like, on the fence about whether or not they want to start working out. <laughs> that could just, like, totally ruin someone's experience, and they just wouldn't want to do it anymore, you know? But, I mean, everyone's, everyone's a little different. We're meeting up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I mean, that's, that's just my two cents, right? Like, you, you're a safe person to give feedback. And uh, you could, like, really help them become a great trainer by providing that feedback, right? Um, but it's not on you. At the same time, you're not responsible for someone else's learning, which is true about a lot of things. We could do a wellness minute on that, but we're not going to. Um, we do have a wellness minute that we can do. Actually, you know, I'll do, I'll do one set of squats, and then we'll do, we'll do a wellness minute. Um, we'll do some monster walks and squats, and then we'll get that wellness minute together 
because uh, we'll, give, we'll give a little minute. I know some folks get really sad when they come in and they miss the wellness minute, which like, um, if I can be honest, is probably the most flattering thing. <laughs> Someone's like, uh huh, I missed it. That's so sad. Because you wonder with wellness minutes after a while if people still find them valuable. Because at minimum, I'm doing like three a week, you know? I don't want them to dilute. All right, we're going to try a side profile for squatting like we did for deadlifting. Because I think some folks really want that. Ready for dumpy cam, everybody? Please keep them up. Well, thank you, Callie. One hand, it may help me be less self-conscious. Other hand, it's super embarrassing. Jim allows yelling and all that. But people us don't usually do it. Yeah, I mean, so how do, how do you feel when someone is, like, shouting like that while you're trying to work out by yourself? I guess that's the, <laughs> that's the question, right? <laughs> oh, man. My beard is getting long enough that it's starting to like rub on my shirt, which is not good for putting a, a microphone on my collar. Ah, wolves, hello. Doesn't bother me unless they're counting their reps really loud, I guess. I'm trying to count in my head and they're shouting. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's a different, that's a different animal. <laughs> Seven, 42, 92, one, nine. Ooh. But uh, all that to say, Trey, that's not to just dunk on your friend. It's not my, not my intent at all. I'm really glad you got it in today. If it was something new, if it was something exciting, Baz, how are we doing? Hi. It's all coming together. Welcome in, Tazzy Taz. Wow. Wow. Tron Buster, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Welcome to the community. How are we doing, Taz? Well, I thank you. Oh, butt spot, you can get right out of here. Huh. Y'all go check out Taz. Taz is an Apex streamer. When we get in our date. Oh. <laughs> we, already, we, we already have a date. It's happening right now. You, me. Having a date right now? Tron Buster. Welcome in. Welcome in. How's your night going? I'm laughing about it now. I really can't shout every time. It doesn't motivate me like it does him. Yeah, different people are motivated differently, right? It's like group runs can be really motivating for me. All oh, right. The poison. The poison. The poison for Cusco. Poison chosen special. Kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Ah. Well, pal. All right. Time to finish the sweater. The sweater is gone. It's like 80 degrees outside. I just went walking like, I took Evie for a walk just in like, this shirt and my shorts, right? I was, Steaming. 
getting ready to work out. Made it from 300 to 187 currently. That's a huge accomplishment. Can I get some hype in the chat for Tron? That's excellent, my dude. Beautiful. Congrats. Genie from Aladdin. Hey, Al. What do you need? You need a toilet made of gold? You need this woman to fall in love with you? Ha! 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 Anything you need! That's all I got. I know a lot of that probably clipped out, and I apologize. Um, but I don't think I can do Robin Williams justice. I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm really embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed. But again, congrats, Tron. And welcome into the community. What do you got planned for a workout today? Ugh. Oh, no. Dropped my collar. I'm going to do another one. Uh, no one can. That's true, PT. That man is irreplaceable. That man is irreplaceable. His legacy, incredible. Robin Williams is a funny dude. What's going on here? All right. That's fine. Pumba! <laughs> Did upper body, upper body early morning, ran a fast mile midday, eating and take my obese brother and do whatever he wants. Oh, I love that. So are you, are you like working through fitness together? What an excellent thing. We get stronger when we help lift other people up and help other people lift themselves up. That's great though. Ugh. I'm gonna try to get I'm still deciding if I want to try to run today. There we go. That's the kind of load we're looking for, honestly. Is uh, if we are, actually, let's do it this way. I'm gonna be kind of lazy about it. No. No, that's wrong. Hold on. Two thirty five minus one eighty five. Yeah, that was almost an oopsie. That's fine. It's like I'm hiding right now. Except the bottom camera. You can see me very clearly. I need more than one set of 25s. And this plan will work perfectly. Oh, right. The poison. The poison. The poison. The poison. The poison. The poison. The special. The kill. The poison. The poison. The poison. Woo! This is taking forever. Sorry, chat. This is what I get. Lazy about picking up 45. Took longer to load up a 45 alternative. I'm trying to help him, but it's tough. It's hard. At the risk, welcome in. No, uh, I feel you, Tron. It's, uh, it's hard when someone is uh, at a certain point where movement can feel very threatening. You know? <sighs> or you've been in a state of being for so long that it doesn't feel like you can change. <laughs> All you can do is hope and support and believe. As long as you believe in them, that's what matters. Ugh. 
They will find their way to believing in themselves. 24K steps today. Oh, that's standing up right now makes me sad. <laughs> oh. Oh, man, I'm at... What am I at today? I'm at 8,600 right now. Taking Evie for a couple of walks today. I knew I was going to get another one in after dinner to try to hit 10. But, yeah. And if I do do a jog, it'll be for like two miles. Oh, I got new running shoes. I got new running shoes. Does anyone want to see my running shoes? Ugh. I'd have to run up and get them. I'd have to walk up and get them. So I wouldn't run without them. You know what I mean? Why would I run without my running shoes? Whew. All right. I'm convinced. They're not as fancy as uh, someone in the chat I was talking to just bought some really fancy new running shoes. <laughs> I'm not going to call them out. But all right, I'll get them. You got me convinced. You got me convinced. So I'm going to take my microphone with me. I'm going to walk up these stairs. I'm going to grab these shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I found them. Wow, these are nice. Who made these? Here we go. Woo! Look at them. Aren't they perfect? Look at these bad boys. Look at these bad boys. Look at that color. Look at that. Look at that color. Look at that coordination. You can't see it. You can't see it as well from back there. But I love them. I love them. Jay, hello. Welcome in. I'm pretty sure I got the right size. So I still got to um, take them for a little test run. But in my country, we call them slippers. What do you slip on? What brand? These are Brooks. I got the Brooks Glycerin. 19. Size 16, exactly. Exactly. I have very large feet. Pretty slack. Pretty slack. I do not have feet that are that large. My feet are solidly average. Brooks are good. Yeah, I do, I do love the Brooks. I was resistant to the Brooks for a while. Um, but uh, eventually, I just like found my way into loving them. I was trying to run with a bunch of different types of shoes with like less support. And then I realized, you know what? I am very injury prone. And so I'm just going to get shoes that are neutral and have good support. Hope they got a good grip, though. They do. They do. They're grippy as beans. Hey. I'll do a quick plug. Um, I'm using Alpha Aminos today. These are a Cellucor product. If you want to get in on Cellucor, get, uh, I think it's a 20% discount using, uh, using my code. Um, you can uh, click the link down below. Using the Cellucor link will make it so I get a commission. So if you're gonna order anything from the C4 website or Cellucor websites, use my links. Use my code. Save money. Give me money. It's a win-win. Do you use weightlifting shoes? I do, actually. I just got. He's trying to lead you down the path of righteousness. I'm gonna lead you down the path that rocks. Jay, thank you. Thank you for that tier. You know you got the smirk emote. Thank you so much for that resub, my friend. I appreciate you so much. These are my current lifting shoes. Um, I did not pay a lot for these. Um, because I wasn't super picky about which ones I get. I just wanted them to be blue. Um, and normally I'd wear these for squatting. In fact, you know, I'll just toss them on. I'll just toss them on for squats. Shoe stream, I'm totally down. You know, if you would have asked me like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, if you would have been like, do you think you will be the type of person to just like have tons of shoes and like not be able to get rid of your shoes? I think the blue, huh? Yeah. Look at this. Look at the Crocs. <laughs> yeah, I just I keep finding purposes that I need shoes for, you know? It's like I try to get by. Like these, these lifting shoes, 
These Nike Freeze, I have had these for five years. I think I've had these for almost five years now. Um, and they've held up so well just because I only use them when I'm in the gym. Like, I caught myself running on the treadmill with them. I was like, excuse me, Joe, what are you doing? These are supposed to be forever shoes. They will not last forever if you use them on the treadmill. Oh, all right. Just got a set of three. One set down, two to go. For the first time in a long ass time, I have good news. For the first time in forever, I have some news to share. But Sarah, what's the good news? Tell me all about it. Welcome in. <clears throat> Got a call back today to fill out a background check. That means I have the job. Yes. Ooh, so many wins in the chat today. Congrats. Big congrats. Big new job hypies. How do you feel? How do you feel? What are you going to do to celebrate? Jay, I thought you would like that one. I thought you might like that one. I'm gonna keep that around for a while. <laughs> Bowser, welcome in. <sighs> so they found about that one time five years ago. Well, as long as you commit crimes in different in, in different countries or in enough different states that it's hard to track, you'll pass your background check. Funny enough, it's an easy part-time job. I'm good. I'm glad to hear it. Good congrats on the new job, friend. That's awesome. Ah. Worst thing on my record is a speeding ticket when I was 19 and I'm 26. I'm going to say something and I know I know that it's a bad idea to say it out loud. I've never been pulled over. I have not had to interact with an officer of the law in a vehicle. I am almost 30 years old. I'm missing out. Well, I mean, it's because I'm a white guy. That's, that's pretty much it. Because I'm a white guy and none of my cars have been like in major disrepair, so I don't get profiled. Be a part-time tutor, so only eight dollar an hour. Does I have a bachelor's? Why does this all fifty now? Right on, right on. <laughs> you heard that knocking. I'm, I was really surprised she didn't freak out. Honestly, that's great, Seraph. That's awesome. Good to have a little, little, little bit of part-time work, right? That's excellent. Uh, but yeah, I've been. Oh, I do owe y'all a wellness minute, and I, I'm not. I'm gonna. I said I would do it after squats. So we can uh, we can do that right now. I'm sorry I kept you waiting, Callie. Are you still here, Callie? Am I am I doing the wellness minute after you've left? I start going to the gym again to set up a schedule. Yes, yes. Please. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Hey everyone, how are we doing today? My name is Joe, aka Cool Runnings. I use he, him pronouns. I'm a variety streamer, and welcome to today's Wellness Minute. Today's Wellness Minute is about <laughs> potatoes. Potatoes are they—they they get a really bad rap. If I'm being honest, um, there are a lot of 
foods out there that we would consider to be like good carbs and bad carbs. We have starchy carbs, we have uh, fibrous carbs, we have complex carbs. Um, potatoes are a very good carb. Whether you're doing red potatoes or yellow potatoes or sweet potatoes, if you are looking for a way to put a plant-based carb into your diet, potatoes are a really healthy way to do it. Now, the one thing to note with potatoes, typically, the way we are used to eating potatoes is with lots of butter, lots of cheese, Maybe we're frying them. Maybe we're using a like just like a ton of oil to 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 cook them up, right? Um, potatoes can be a really great diet, a really great piece to add to your diet. They're super affordable, but just make sure in preparing them that we're not adding a lot of incidental fats. So discover uh, mashing potatoes, like bo boiling and mashing, right? Using potatoes in stews, um, doing roasted potatoes with a little bit of olive oil, but not a ton of like fried potato stuff, right? Um, everything in moderation, right? But the big thing is potatoes are awesome. Don't let anyone tell you that they shouldn't be a part of your diet if you're trying to lose weight or if you're trying to eat healthier. And that's today's Wellness Minute. Fresh apples and juice. Welcome back. Welcome back. I show up just in time for potatoes. <laughs> I heard the call of the carb. Jazzy. Yes. Potatoes are very versatile. They are. They are. Anyone who has worked in the culinary world knows. Um, potatoes are one of the things. It's like one of the questions on like basic cook tests is uh, name five ways to cook a potato. Jazzy, how are you? <laughs> Looking to you for a routine. Well, Seraph, we are doing, um, I'm, I'm posting all of my routines in the Discord, and I'm going to do that right now before I forget. Um, for a day, every time I do a little lifty lift, that bad boy goes in the Discord. I'm going to call this, ooh, August 1st. August 1, 2022. Ugh. <sighs> Mash is, mash is a good butt. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. You got it. Mom, I break it works. I wanted to pop in and say hi. Jazzy, thank you for popping in and saying hi. Are you, are you at the new job? Can I ask that question? Potatoes with cat ears. <laughs> oh, I love Frank Ocean Serif. Um, Channel Orange is one of my favorite albums of all time, and I used to listen to it constantly. Oh, gosh. I feel like I may have to go and listen to that soon. Kala, welcome back. Welcome back, Kala. Uh, yeah, we're getting another set of squats in. We're on deload week, so we're taking it nice and easy. Uh, if you have questions about like what deloading is, what the purpose of it is, feel free to ask. I'm happy to talk about it. Ordered a buttload of creatine. Well, 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 well. Uh, at least you didn't order a creat load of butts. I think that that is not legal in the country of our residents. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Beauty. We'll do one more set after not too long of a rest. Say so you're suddenly feeling unwell and need to go home. And stay with us at the new job. I get to play with dogs today. I'm so happy, but it's hot out. Oh boy. Oh my. Yeah, you gotta stay with stay with those doggos. Let me know what you like RB wise, cool run. He's give you some recommendations. Honestly, Sarah, if you are in the Discord, right? Any R and B you drop in uh in Bops and Jams, I will listen to. Oh, someone added something today. Oh neat. Tabukin added some stuff. Yeah, I mean, I had a, I had a big odd future phase, and I'm gonna call it a phase just because like Tyler's stuff doesn't really land with me as much as it used to. Do you mix your creatine with your pre workout? So, Chris, I use creatine as a post workout supplement. Um, the big thing with creatine is Jazzy. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for saying hi, y'all. Please go and check out Jazzy. Jazzy's a great friend of the stream. Super awesome human being. Um. But yeah, uh, creatine is basically like, for those of you who aren't familiar, creatine got a bad rap as being like a near steroid or like a non-natural supplement. 
Um, but essentially, like creatine, you get creatine in food. It's just in order to get the optimal amount of creatine, you have to eat so much meat. <laughs> so much meat that it is prohibitively expensive. And so creatine supplements are great because you can get that five grams of creatine that you need for optimal muscle building and optimal um, power building without having to wreck the environment by eating eight steaks a day. But, uh, but yeah, so I take creatine in my post-workout shake is what I do. You can mix creatine in just about anything because it's just like flavorless. Like I've heard people who put creatine in their coffee um, which I tried and I don't really like it. Like it is still a little bit bitter to, to put it in coffee, but, um, yeah, there hasn't really been a lot of research on like when it is the optimal time to take creatine, at least if there's been research on it, it's been largely inconclusive. So do you recommend any protein powders that don't taste like old leather shoes? Ooh, Cal, that's a great question. That's a great question. Honestly, a lot of the like, hmm. Well, let me, let me ask you, Kala, what have you tried? What have you tried and what flavors do you like and not like? Jay, are you, t are you saying that you, you lick boots? Is that what you're telling us right now? And if you have any, uh, Kala, if you have any dietary, dietary restrictions, it'd be good to know too. Because I use, um, it's not what I type, but it's what you said. It's what you said. I, uh, I, I do want to know, like, like I use dairy based protein powders because like to me, like it's not as environmentally like whey and casein are byproducts of other dairy processes. So like as long as the demand for like milk and cheese and other dairy products does not. Uh, as long as the demand curves don't shift too much it is always going to be like okay or like neutral for the environment to use dairy products. I just eat them. You eat them shoes. I'm sure leather shoes have plenty of creatine. You know, I'm sure they have a lot of stuff that I am unaware of. Excuse me, I am, I must say, I am not completely aware of, uh, I'm not totally aware of the, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my pants off. Excuse me. Excuse me. I was gonna ditch the pants. I'm too warm. I'm too warm. I'm just so warm in here. Warm. Welcome to whiny runnings. I'll be your guide. Well, tell me, guy. Hello. How frequently do you program for your deload? Do you program a deload based on how your body is feeling or schedule? Yeah. So, Otomi, guy, um, I basically... Um, it is always going to be between four weeks and six weeks. So occasionally I will deload after four weeks. Um, but this time I am on week six and the sixth week is my deload. Um, I feel it out. We don't need to listen to this song. He wears his heart safety pin to his backpack. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I have a, I have a range and then I feel things out as I get closer to that range. Um, admittedly, I really should have deloaded last week, but I wanted to get to a 30 mile week before I deloaded, um, which was kind of, um, kind of arbitrary, honestly. I still need to write my running plan for the week. I will eventually figure it out. How about you? Have you been, uh, have you been just trying to figure out where to work, uh, where to work a deload in? Just trying to figure out what's going to be best as he takes off his pants. <laughs> <sighs> Babuski. Everyone have a good weekend, by the way. Have a great weekend. Got any more of those ceiling chocolate bars, Joe? I need a fix. Oh. I wish I could share. I wish I could share my ceiling chocolate bars, but uh, you know, 
We need all of them, Jay. We need every one of them. If we don't have all of them, we won't be able to cover up our ceiling. Then what will we do? I'll give you a hint. I'll spoil it for you. We just won't have a complete ceiling. Trey, have a great lurk, my friend. Thank you for coming in tonight. Um, calling, since we're calling the theme, feeling Kit Kat bars because they really look like Kit Kats. They do look a little bit more like Kit Kats, yeah? <laughs> I can accept that. I can accept that they're more Kit Kat like. Ugh. Kinda. Last deload was eight weeks ago. Not feeling too beat up yet. My deload this week just to refresh and recoup even though I'm feeling all right. You know, even if your body feels good, it's a really great mental break, Otomi. Especially if you've been trying to work in a lot of progressive overload or if you've been uh, honestly just like doing kind of similar routines for a while, right? I found that after a deload week, I'm just like always feeling a lot more excited about going back and doing my actual lifts. Um, which is cool, you know? Like, I, I really enjoy lifting. And after a while, like, it still feels a little bit rote, you know? So, I think it's a good call. Take it before you need it. It's like drinking water. If you feel, if you feel thirsty, you should have drank water like 20 minutes ago. That was pretty good. Catch a paddleboard and play music with some friends. Didn't get enough sleep, though. I, I, have, I have not been getting enough sleep. Samukin, hello! How are you, friend? Good to see you. I haven't been able to listen to the uh, the music you put in the Discord yet. I've been meaning to. All right. Ooh. A little external rotation inside to outside. A little metronome thumb pulling from that rotator cuff. It's jam. I do. I do love Joy Wave. A lot of fun. Even though, like, everything that their music is about is probably something that I am sort of like. Like, they make fun of people like me and their music. So, that's fine. Ha. Huh. I can be the butt of someone's joke. Mention music, Joe's like suddenly the metronome song. You know, this one. That is like off rhythm. I usually do the whey or plant-based ones. Just plug my nose and chug it. Yeah, so Cal, I'll, I'll definitely say it doesn't have to be that way, right? Um, I have experimented with a lot of different brands and flavors. Um, if, uh, so my my like, <laughs> my sponsor answer, right, or like my affiliate answer, would say that you should go to the Legion website and like see uh, see if any of the flavors there call out to you and use my affiliate link. Um, my like human to human answer is that anything I've gotten from Optimum Nutrition has been really good. Um, as long as you're someone who like is like pseudo warm on chocolate flavors, um, don't try to like go and get like cookies and cream or banana cream pie or like even the strawberry stuff um just like try like smaller uh smaller portions or like smaller ah like buy smaller containers of um of just like chocolate flavors and i think if a company makes a good chocolate flavor you can kind of guess that all of their other flavors are going to be okay but chocolate just seems to be the one that like you can add milk, you can add bananas in a, in a blender. Um, it's just a lot easier to make it your own. You say optimum is okay? Yeah. Yeah, I have, I have consistently like been happy with optimum nutrition. Um, I have not, I've not done a lot of research on like their like sourcing in a while, so I don't know if it's changed. Um, but they sell it at Costco, right? And Costco doesn't do business with companies that uh, are not uh, above above board, so to speak. Kind of alt-rock feel if I had to put a genre to it. I played bass, guitar, and piano. So I'm bass this time. Oh, Jay, I did, that's so awesome. Do you play every weekend? Couldn't relay the message to that protein video I sent you, Joe. So I don't know much about the subject. Oh, yes. No, I, I totally get that, Tabukin. 
Um, it's a, it's a really, um, oh, you're welcome. You're welcome, Otomi. Hope you have a good deload, friend. He was absolutely interested in double rich chocolate for years and enjoyed it. The milk chocolate was nasty when I tried it a few months ago, though. Yeah, yeah, I get this stuff from Costco, and admittedly, like, I am always mixing my protein powder with something else. Like, very rarely. Actually, no, that's, that's a lie. I do a whey shake before I start my lift, so uh, forget that. Forget what I just said. I just lied to you all. Well, big old liar pants. Uh, but yeah, the Legion stuff has been pretty good. Um, I really do like some of their more interesting flavors, like the honey cereal flavor. I got the chocolate cereal flavor, and that's been pretty good. But yeah, I see protein shakes as a, as a means to an end, and I, I, try not to, uh, I try not to spend too much time drinking them. And I actually did a wellness minute on that a while back, because... Um, I went to a dentist appointment a couple of years ago. My dentist was like, hey man, you drink a lot of protein shakes? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> was like, bro, do you lift, basically? Um, and then he started to tell me about how like, uh, people that take too long to drink their protein shakes uh, have a lot more like tooth issues than other people do because you're just like sitting there and ingesting like this kind of sugary dairy drink for like, sometimes people take like 30 to 40 minutes to drink their shakes. Um, so I try not to savor it. I try to chug it down. Even when I add stuff to it. Oh. Man. My legs are beat up, y'all. Sorry I have to do setup before the ad break, but I need to, I really gotta keep it moving today. I wanna keep it sort of short. Diamantize makes some tasty protein, definitely on the sweet side. Diamantize is good. Yeah, I've, got, I've gotten the Diamantize cookies and cream, and that's been quite good, quite good. Protein shakes before and after workout. Yes, yeah. So, um, oh, I should have a I should have a um, a stream command for this. Two or three times per month, if a protein usually just mixed with water or plain Greek yogurt, so the flavor needs to be okay on its own. I got you. Yeah. Dapper, happy time zones. Nice to be beat up after this week. Band camp. Oh my. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh. I didn't I didn't do band. I did football. So I had a lot of friends telling me about how rough band camp was in the legs, but. Um, Eat fast and drink fast. You just want to eat my dinner or lunch. Looks like someone's going to take it from me. I'm the same way, honestly. Oh, Jay, you have no idea. Look up lockstep. Look up uh, videos of people lockstepping, Jay. It is like um, the amount of like movements that like high-performing marching bands need to do. It is incredibly... We do a roll step. Okay. I mean, still, right? Kill those lockstep. <laughs> Look at me, like, cause, cause my wife was in band, um, and uh, and did it did that, so you know I got to hear a lot about it. But yeah, Chris, to answer your question about protein shakes before and after before the ads hit, um, I uh, I had a dietitian friend tell me that I should start taking protein shakes before my workouts, um, because essentially, like, we have this really weird arbitrary stance about recovery and like anabolic windows and all that, right? That like, oh, we need to get our protein in 30 minutes after our workout, blah, blah, blah. But really like when you stop working a muscle group, it starts to recover. So it, <laughs> it behooves you to like fuel your body before you do a workout. Um, if it's gonna make you sick, then don't do it. But I always felt sorry for the ones carrying the heavy instruments. Oh, blessed be the sousaphone players. I think it's the Chinese army. I mean, there's some really interesting stepping stuff out there. Next year, I want to work with the football team and basically merge our camps for one day, put them in each other's shoes in a sense. Ooh, 
Ooh. <laughs> oh, you're short, only have 1,800 calories to work with. Got to keep the drink calories pretty low so I can eat. Yeah, I'm pretty fortunate that, like, my, my BMR is pretty high. So when I make a protein shake, so my routine is 20 to 30 minutes before a workout, I do a whey protein shake mixed with water, one scoop of whey. Uh, after my workout, I do a shake of one scoop of whey, one scoop of casein, one scoop of creatine. And if I'm at home and I can get to the blender, I'll put a third of a frozen banana in there and add some peanut butter or some peanut butter pretzel nuggets. And I get a real tasty shake. And I just do that with water. But that's just me. That's just me. <coughs> oh, oh, <coughs> choking. What am I choking at? Nothing. This makes no sense. Oh. But uh, Jay Corsair mentioned Greek yogurt, and that is a really great way to get lots of extra protein in your diet. Did I mention my diet? I'll talk about potatoes and double rich chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, Jay. Happy Monday, my chicken <laughs> Welcome in, Gaston. Oh, your timing. You should be with <laughs> Gaston, my friend. How are you? Used to be between 15 to 16, finally building some muscle with some consistent lifting in the past few months. He's got it trending up finally. Have a good motivator to lift. I got you. That's great, friend. That's great. What did I miss? I'm making wings right now. <laughs> Jay was just lamenting uh, that uh, <laughs> Jay is starting a diet and we were just like talking about foods. <laughs> you come in and you're just like, what up, chicken wings? <laughs> I think you just like drove the steak deeper into Jay's heart. My life! Uh, we'll change the uh let's we'll do we'll do an angle change. We're dynamic here. You know what I'm saying? We're dynamic folks. Gaston, how was your day? What kind of chicken wings are you making? What are you putting on them? Are they spicy wings? I still have to, uh, I told myself I was going to order some B-dubs as a celebratory thing for, uh, getting my new job, but uh, I haven't done it yet. One of the things that I like to, uh, due to my body occasionally is eat way too many boneless Asian Zang wings from Buffalo Wild Wings. Let me tell you, if there was ever something that made me feel like absolute garbage for two full days. <laughs> At stake? What? Jay, what's going on? <laughs> Hams. Hello. Medium rare, please. 32 ounces of broccoli need to cook up by Friday. You just gonna throw it right in there? Throw it right in that air fryer? You got a new job? I did! I did! Yeah! New job! JCW, welcome in. It's a question my roommate's Instapot for rice cooking in my life has forever changed. You make it sourdough right now, Kala? How long have you been doing that? Did you pick it up during the pandemic? If I may ask. Not that you have to pick it up during the pandemic. I am now hungry and it's like, oh, everyone, I'm sorry. I feel like I keep doing this to folks. <laughs> Welcome in, Hams. Welcome. Yeah, I got a new job. I got a promotion. Um, and uh, I am I am beginning the transition out of my out of my current job. So I've got two more weeks, uh, and then I will start my new job. I'm gonna have to be in person one more day per week, 
but uh, honestly, that's going to be, that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Congrats, thank you. Uh, my my in-laws sent me a, a, a Congrats um, congratulations card. It was very cute. They drew a little beard on the rat in the front. And they were like, who's that guy that's leading the pack? <laughs> we're like sense eights. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Not just the pay thing, you know? It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a new set of challenges. And I think, like not to say that I felt complacent in my job because I've tried to continue to learn new things, but you know, personally, I feel like once you hit like two to three years in a job, unless it is like the kind of job that changes a lot, you kind of learn all you can learn in that in that time period, right? You've gone through a couple of cycles. <sighs> and you're just managing like ooh, organizational politics and all that. My goal is to stay in this next job for a little bit longer. I'd really like to. <sighs> Team, Russia's greatest love machine. Oh, yes. All right, we're gonna work in some rear delt raises as well as some heel drops. I think I'll just pop the 25 on here for heel drops. I hope that stays put. And then we'll be doing uh, triples. Huh. Triples at 175. Oh, yeah. it's all and that should be nice and easy, still challenging enough. And we'll hang on to one of these. And okay, this is why I need to change shoes. Oh. Same thing. Other foot. Ha, huh. come on. Cool. Congratulations, a new job is you. <laughs> Thank you. Good mindset. I know some people get stuck in one job for years because it's comfortable. I'll feel my current job. You don't grow that way. Yeah. And so here's the thing is like, oh, Sylvan Bard, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Um, yeah, I um I am like very strongly of the mind that like if you find the job that works for you and it feels like comfortable, you know, and you still feel like fulfilled while you're doing it, then like there's no shame in doing that, right? Like some people find a really strong sense of purpose in their work. They want to stay in the same role, and that's fine. There's like certain expectations around that, right? Like you have to to manage your expectations around compensation, and um, that uh, you're going to see different supervisors, you're going to see people move around you. But you know, if you find a spot, there's no shame in keeping it. Um, <sighs> got back from dinner. How goes the deload reload? It goes well. It goes well. Bench is feeling good. Shoulders are feeling good. I'm really glad I'm taking this rest. Speaking of leaving jobs, I started stage managing a show and never encountered so many red flags so quickly. Jay, you mentioned that, that you were picking that up. Pork, corn, and potatoes. That does sound good. It does sound good. How'd you cook them? Did you roast them? People, uh, the way they're, all of it. Okay. I'm 
I'm sorry that was your, ex your ex that was your experience, Jay. We have we have do we have three J's in the chat right now? We do. We have three J's in the chat right now, and that's okay. I hope you know. I hope each one of you knows which one I am referring to by the the chat messages. But you plan on stir fry, Jay Light? What do you put in your stir fry? Do you put the tiny corns in there? I've I've yet to like buy the the little. T what are those called? I should know this. I should know what this is. Are they called tiny corns? You're going to put leather in your stir fry. You're going to lick boots. You're going to lick boots and then you're going to eat stir fry. I came here to lick boots and eat stir fry. Are they just called baby corn? I mean, I believe it. Can we call them tiny corns instead? That's like unicorns, but tiny. They're sending my reservation tonight. I do not intend on contacting that company again. Oh, JCW, I'm sorry. Because it seemed like you were really excited about that, that position. Put loads of veg. Add away. Add away. We are, uh, we are hitting critical mass with zucchini, so we're going to be eating a lot of zucchini. <laughs> For you, Joe, anything. All right, it is now tiny corn. Pan fried the pork cutlets, boiled the corn on the cob, roasted the potatoes. Remus, that sounds so tasty. You know what? Let's do a poll. You ready? Uh, a little stir fry. Hold on. A little stir fry corns. Baby corn. Um, I'm going to add cornlets. Tiny corn. Um, and bitty corn. Cool. All right, we're gonna make this. A, we're gonna make this a three-minute poll. Actually, we'll make it. A, we'll make it a full five-minute poll. There we go. All right, polls open. Cast your votes. Is zucchini expensive in America? It's kind of expensive here. It's pretty cheap here. I we have two zucchini plants, and we have grown. We have probably gotten uh, eight pounds of zucchini out of it so far. And like, I have one that I really need to go out there and cut tonight because it's like perfect. It's like the perfect size. You can't let those bad boys get too big, otherwise they don't taste like anything. This is the challenge. This is where gardening goes from just like watering to like actually paying attention to your plants and taking care of them. Ugh, all right. Cool. We're still making good time. Yeah, I love zucchini. I'll never get tired of it. Bold claim, I know. All right. Pretty simple. Three adult raises. Set of eight. Ah. Ooh. We'll do the left foot first this time. Get this settled up right on there. Come on. All right, heel drops. Trying to get a full extension at the top. And then a nice good stretch at the bottom. <laughs> I love corn. Thought many times I'm starting a cooking stream. Remus, if you did a cooking stream, I would I'd be there. Something about the term cornlets bothers me. If cornlets doesn't feel right, then we we don't have to do that. 
We can we can veto cornlets. Tiny corn even worse. Stardew Valley has readied me for this. <laughs> Who's plowing their points into cornlets? Cornlets has a really strong lead right now. Holy cow. We might be going with cornlets, everyone. Corn kind of carby though, right? Yeah, see here like corn corn tastes good. Corn tastes good. Body don't process corn good. Here, 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 here thing. Here thing to know. Corn tastes good. Corn sweet. Corn great. Corn filling. Corn no process good. If there, if there is like one like vegetable that I would say like is not extremely nutritionally like there, it's corn. It's corn. <laughs> Poor results looking like a hot mess. I think baby corn is the name. There's no official name for it. That's a really good cover zapper. Yeah. <laughs> um, char grilled zucchini slaps. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. I do love char grilled zucchini. We. I need to. I need to grill our eggplant. What about celery? See, I don't. I think the verdict's the verdict's out on celery for me personally. I think it's better than corn. Like, you do get some good micronutrients in celery. Of course it's corn, everything. <laughs> no. no, like, here's the thing is, like, corn is not bad for you. I'm just saying, like, there's a, there's a reason. There's a reason that your poops are not good after you have some corn. I wasted my points in this poll. I wasted enough on that material. <laughs> I was asked, asked why we eat it when we can't even process it. Because, you know, it's, it's part of our culture, right? It is one of the, like, biggest uh, examples of, like, a crop being selectively bred to be more accessible and edible, right? Cornlets it is! I don't, I don't know if I want to put the person on blast who spent 17,000 channel points on cornlets, but I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Yeehaw! <laughs> Have you ever had corn nuts? I do. I do love corn nuts. In the theory, you lose more calories chewing celery than in celery itself. Yeah, celery is a good vessel, right? Like if you put peanut butter in celery, it's beauty. JCW, congrats, congrats, JCW, on the single-handed victory for cornlets with seventeen thousand channel points. Level up. Hello, welcome back. Broccoli, spinach, and bee sprouts are my go-to. I love spinach. I ha Oh, you know what? That's what our next wellness minute is going to be about. I'm not going to give it away now. Imagine being selectively bred. We're not going there. We're not going there. And cauliflower. Cauliflower is dope. Barbecue corn nuts are quite good. I've had those. Yeah. <laughs> Cornlet. <laughs> It's like Les Mis, but it's farm themed. Red, the blood of angry cows. Black, the spot on all the cows. My dear, Cornet, Cornlet. <laughs> Pretty proud of myself for that one. I heckin' love Lay Miz, in case y'all didn't know. Celery PB and raisins, ants on a log. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love, oh my gosh. I do love peanut butter and celery. <laughs> the funny thing about celery, is when you buy it at the store, you will see packs of celery, celery hearts. And then you will see like pre-cut celery 
And you can literally spend half as much on the same amount of celery if you're willing to just cut the ends off yourself. I always found that to be interesting. That's one of those big convenience pieces. But eventually they have to sell the pre-cut celery for less because people aren't willing to buy it. And then it almost goes bad. Fun cycle we find ourselves in. Consumerism. <clears throat> Spinach is great with risotto. I do love risotto. Risotto slaps. But Soto. Okay, but Soto. But Soto sounds like a Star Wars character. Have you ever had a shit on a shingle chip beef on toast? I have, actually. Yeah. My mom used to uh, my mom used to make it all the time. I haven't made risotto in years. It's hard to make risotto. It's a challenging dish. Ooh, I love this song. Jaylet's dad is now officially crashing into a ditch and flipped over and is on fire. Oh, Jaylet, I'm sorry. Typical go-to snack when I was younger. Yeah, it's a good one. Is it like corned beef? So chip beef, my understanding of chip beef is it's just like the uh, roasted beef that is like not of the highest quality. So like the um, the scraps, so to speak. Or if you make like a pot roast and then you like shave it and put it in gravy and you put that on a piece of toast or on a piece of white bread, that's shit on a shingle. I got taught it in a culinary course. Ah, you should, you should make it, you should make it soon. Spinach mushroom risotto is like, just the thought of it right now is making my mouth water. Eggs and sausage gravy and a slice of bread is fire shit on shit. I love sausage gravy. Like I don't, I don't have, um, we don't like keep sausage in the house, but I should make like a, like a Beyond Meat sausage gravy. That'd be really good. <laughs> Sounds pretty dope. <laughs> dope though. It is. I like shit on a shingle, but mom would always put mushrooms in it. And I hate mushrooms. Yeah. I like mushrooms now, but I used to just not. When I realized that mushrooms are the thing that make, ta make everything taste better, I got a lot better with mushrooms. I still don't like like, um... I am not fond of raw mushrooms still, but cooked mushrooms, like most times when like a meat dish tastes good, it is because there is like mushroom flavor somewhere adjacent to it. My three beautiful children, chip, beef, and <laughs> Chef, welcome in. Welcome in. Mushrooms are pretty versatile. I love shrooms. Jeff, thank you so much for the host. Hey, what an excellent way to support the stream. If you have a BTT, BTTV, um, you can click a little button on your BTTV uh, indicator and that will host the stream automatically. Or you can go back to your own channel, enter forward slash host, and then uh, type cool runnings and it boosts the streams. So that it shows up on people's recommended channels. They come in here, they join the community and uh, we, get, we, get, we get a bigger group. That's great. Happy Monday. Chef, I hate, really? Do you, you hate mushrooms? Strong disagree, but I think we'll have to agree to disagree. I've never met a mushroom that I liked. Is it the texture for you, Gaston? Same, same for you, Hams. Is it, is it texture that puts you off a mushroom? Fun buddy. Fun guy. <laughs> mushrooms are only good in cooked and in things. They're not good on their own. Yeah, they're not really great on their own. Texture and taste. Yeah. So Gaston, if you are, if you are willing to humor me, very much a texture thing. It's salt that makes food tasty. I hear you. If anyone is willing to to humor me on this, there is you can get like bouillon or like uh, these like little jars of mushroom stock. If you use mushroom stock, you don't actually have to put mushrooms and stuff but you get like the same like taste and like good sensations of what mu of what mushrooms do to like other parts of dishes right um 
I'm not I'm not going to force my mushroom agenda on anyone. Absolutely not. But I will say I will say every every dish that I've had that has had mushrooms added to it has been like more savory as a result. So, we can agree to disagree. I know it's not for some people. I'm trying to think of what my like just not for me foods are. Great, bench is done. Cream of mushroom was the bane of my childhood. Oh, I get that. I get that. I think acidic ingredients are the sleeper hit of flavors. You talking about citruses? Sausage gravy stuffed hamburgers? Level up. What what are you, are you you're coming in like that now? That is gonna that's gonna blow me up. <laughs> cream of anything, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. That I can agree with. Muriel from Courage the Cowardly Dog was right. <laughs> Secret ingredient is vinegar. Last week did suck. Boyfriend drove in time surprising his mom. Third day and caught coat from buddy. Only got to see him twice now his mom. Oh, chef, I'm so sorry. Are you did you did you get it? Did you take a test? Sausage. I'm really sorry, Chef. That's a rough week. I only do if it's using other dishes like beef stroganoff. Stroganoff is good. Stroganoff do be do be pretty good. I didn't um I didn't mark off any of my other stuff. This is what D Load Week does to me, y'all. I'm just a little unfocused. Did you get COVID? No, he caught it on Tuesday. That's right. on Sunday. Okay. Word. Well, it's you know, it's it's, it's not your fault, right? It'll be okay. I'm sorry that the visit didn't go the way you you anticipated, the way you planned. Thoughts on Brussels sprouts? Excellent. I like Brussels sprouts. I think uh, it it definitely takes some talent to cook them properly. And uh, one just has to be like okay with the fact that you're gonna have bad parts. Like, I'm not trying to be lewd or anything, but um, I think you cook some Brussels sprouts with balsamic vinegar, a little bit of honey, oil, salt, pepper, garlic. You got some darn good stuff there. Ugh. But yeah, Brussels sprouts are great. If you don't like eating them whole, quarter them up or shave them down. Just gotta cook them enough. If you let them get crispy, they're really tasty. I think some people don't let them get crispy enough. And they have just like boiled little cabbages. I don't know why I don't like Brussels sprouts. Because you're eating boiled cabbage. Friend. Ugh. All right, this is going to be kind of a weird, weird arrangement here. Should I even move the platform? I really should. Uh, started eating them because of cool runnings. Yes! Beef stroking off, exactly. I did have a job interview on Friday. They called all his references. Hope he's back because it means he gets to move back home. Oh, that's great, chef. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Brussels sprouts hurts my stomach so much. And see if it doesn't sit right with you. Like, don't, don't do it. If seasoned correctly, Ham's has got it. Put all my Brussels sprouts, salt and pepper, and garlic powder. My man, my man. Guess that understands. <laughs> I rubbed it to me. Butter, bacon, parm cheese. Parm cheese on Brussels sprouts is a move. Also, chili oil. I don't know if anyone has had like uh, Brussels sprouts with uh, with chili oil and peanuts. Super good. Childhood TV shows pretty much said Brussels sprouts bad. I mean, that's true, PT. I was, uh, I was mobilized against Brussels sprouts for a long time for that reason. I don't think I could have been convinced for a long period of time that Brussels sprouts were worth my time. Could not have been convinced. Ow. Damn it. 
Ooh, I pinched my finger pretty hard. Pardon my language. Ooh, that was not good. I'm struggling with spatial management skills right now. But chef, you're gonna be done with your job soon, right? I remember you saying you were wrapping up pretty soon. I know this is gonna be kind of ridiculous, but I am gonna put five pound weights on this barbell. For programming. It's what I wrote down. So that's what I'm gonna do. Stick to the program. Give him plenty of love and attention to make her remember it. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jeff, that's so sad. Kiss it better. I gave my finger a kiss. Two weeks! I love it. Feed me risotto chicken wings with potato chocolate chip. <laughs> the first time I tried them was at a restaurant. They had sriracha in them, which made them good. You talk about sprouts, yeah. To become an animal, you must eat the animal. This is true. However, I think I'm okay with not being an animal, you know? Being human is complicated, but all in all, it's not that bad, right? I'd rather be human. Lithuanian Jesus, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. This is a banger, isn't it? Oh, we got some good stuff coming up next, too. What is human? What does it mean to be human? All right, so we're gonna do some Cossack squats, some barbell curls, and some lateral raises. Um, I have not done Cossacks in a while, and so I'm gonna, I'll, to be, to, I'll, I'll be real with y'all. I'll be frank. Hello, everyone, my name is Frank. Uh, these are gonna be a little bit of a struggle. Thanks, oh, you're welcome. Welcome in. All right. Uh, goodness. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Chef, stop it. I always lose count when I do those. Be nice. <laughs> My name is Frank, aka Cool Runnings. Hi, my name is Frank West. I'm an investigative journalist. Points for anyone who gets that reference. <laughs> so I can set this here. I don't need to put it on the side. Is that dead rising? Hell yeah. You got it, Jay. You got figured out. Okay, okay, it's not my fault. You can't get <laughs> hands. Come here with a question. Left shoulder started to hurt like a week ago. Doesn't quite go away. Very nice because I can't work out upper body. Should I just check up on a doctor? So, Lithuanian Jesus, what I would say is if it is something that hasn't gone away after a week and you're not sure what to do and you have easy access to health care, Definitely check with a doctor. Um, if it is something that is like limiting your mobility, right? So if, you, if you're just having trouble working out, that's one thing. But if like you can't like raise your arm above here, then it's worth seeing a doctor about. You can get a referral to a specialist who can maybe get you into PT. Chef, have a good rest of your night. Thank you so much for stopping in. <laughs> don't, don't say that, Jay. Um, but yeah, um, Lithuanian, I, I would say too, um, I kind of want to ask about like where it's hurting in your shoulder because um, I can offer some, some advice on like little moves you can do to help strengthen your shoulders or strengthen the, um, the muscles around your shoulders. 
Because shoulder pain is really common with people who hit upper body two to three times a week. <sighs> And you might just need to do a little bit of work in PT over time, get it fixed up. You're probably not gonna need surgery. Most of the time surgery is not necessary. More and more research is telling us that. You have pizza. Have a good pizza. Have a good pizza, chef. I know, I know she's gone already, but my uncle always used to say that. <laughs> gonna have to cut it off. Gotta bounce the bed. It's calling my name. Have a great rest of your stream. Callie. Callie, have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate you so much. Have a great sleep. Can't hurt what you don't got. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, um, I do have some feelings about that. Um, when I did have a really bad shoulder injury and I went to the doctor for help, um, I had probably like the worst healthcare experience that I've ever had because the doctor assumed that I wasn't going to do what they were going to say. Dude felt the need to just like threaten me. Like if you ever want to move this arm again, you're going to need to stop lifting weights immediately. It's like, okay, buddy. I think like that is probably the, uh, phantom pain can still hurt you. Are we, are we, we got some Metal Gear Solid fans in the house? Some doctors, man, yeah. I mean, it's, it's the older ones, right? Like, here, here is, like, a, a really unfortunate, like, probable truth. I'm going to say this is probably 90% true, and that's totally arbitrary, right? I think that most newer people in the healthcare field are getting trained out of the uh, fat phobia and internal bias that is, like, been rampant in American healthcare for so many years, but newer people into the field are like getting that as part of their medical training and it's not as prevalent. So some are amazing. I've had some amazing doctors. Some I've had are just, come on now, yeah. So if you have a choice, if you can choose a primary care provider, pick someone who's a little younger. Like I know this feels, this feels like rude, right? But if you know of like a doctor that has a, a really great track record and like is really welcoming and really inclusive, then like go for it if they're a little bit older. But you know, if you are a person, uh, if, if, if you are a fat person, and I'm saying that as like a neutral thing, right? Fatness is not a bad thing. It's uh, if, if you are a fat person, aim for a younger doctor because people are getting more training now and in the last 10 years to not just say like, oh, this is what's wrong with you. Like, forget all of your other symptoms. You just need to, like, lose weight and exercise. Everyone should be active. That is something I believe. But Angry Hobbitses, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, friend. How you doing? I was just uh, dropping some inflammatory opinions, honestly. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Square rat. Small raid. Welcome in, square rat. How you doing? Welcome in Square Rat Raiders. Hang on just a second here. A little shout. What were you doing? Oh, you were getting a workout in. Oh, sick. What were you doing today? Welcome in Raiders. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. I use he, him pronouns. I'm a variety streamer. And uh, welcome, welcome to my basement. On Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we lift weights. And on Tuesdays and Sundays, we play video games. And since it is Monday, we are lifting weights. We're on a deload right now. But yeah. Uh, blood work has been great like the last three years. Only issue is my HDL has been lower than usual. Really? Full bod, bro. Nice, nice. Do you do a, do you do three day a week? These wings look amazing. Are you putting them in the Discord? Two a shower workout, not including the stretching before and after. Oh, nice, nice. We're gonna be going a little shorter than usual because uh, uh, because of the deload today. But uh, just doing some Cossacks. Ah, bicep curls. 
baby barbell. We'll do some lateral raises. Work it every morning off cam on stream, switching to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, full body. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. So, do you do like bodybuilding training or you like powerlifting? Ugh. It's okay if you don't neatly fit into a category. Ooh. Oh, this is good. Body's feeling good today. I will, thank you. I'm a little jelly. I'd love some chicken wings. Work out every morning. Oh, sorry. PT in my username does not stand for personal trainer, but some people think that's what it means. You know, I guess I kind of assumed it didn't. I try not to assume what acronyms mean in people's names, but um, like RPG was in here a second ago. And uh, that I very much have like the role playing game. Let's and weights. Not going over the top because no spotter and safety comes oh, yeah, first. Me. You know what, Rat? That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Psycho Commando. Jay, you got to go eat something. Okay, have a good night, Jay. Thank you so much for stopping in. Psycho Commando, welcome in. Second raid, welcome in, Raiders. Uh, Psycho Commando, how the heck are you doing? That's what it means, RPG. Okay, that's what I figured. That's what I figured. <laughs> Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Joe. I go by Cool Running here on Twitch. I use he, him pronouns. I'm a variety streamer. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we lift weights. Tuesdays, Sundays, we play games all the time. We're an inclusive community, and I'm so glad you could be here and be a part of it. Welcome in. I was just playing as Dust Falls. Oh, that's sick. I heard um, Sa uh, Sam Alitical was playing that, too. He's really been enjoying it. My profile pic answers what it does, though. Oh, Pokemon Trainer. Okay. That's it. Ah, oh, that's great. So the... Did we talk about Pokemon last time? But Psycho, uh, Psycho, how was your, uh, how was your game in? How was your night, friend? That's like, um, kind of like a, a storytelling, like a visual storytelling game, right? Not like visual novel, but sort of like decision-making trees and, and all that stuff, yeah? Gonna start spider walking across my living room. That's a good core workout, honestly. Spider walks are good. It's fun. You can play with chat. Viewers can decide the story. Oh, is it like Twitch integrated? Oh, that's so cool. Man. That does sound fun. I should... Oh, oh I want to try it. I'll probably just end up watching streams of it. Just because my, my game's backlog is just like... It has not shrunk. Much as I've done. A stream I watched in chat just killed just about everyone. Oh, no. Is it like... Is it super graphic or is it kind of like PG-13? Because the one scene that I saw didn't really give me a good idea of, uh, of like what, <laughs> what, the, what the vibe was, right? Two, two, three. Mm. Excuse me. A lot of fun. Be awesome with a big chat. Oh, it's PG thirteen. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I, was, I was playing Resident Evil Eight uh, yesterday, and like this is not a huge spoiler, but just like all the things that happened to Ethan's hands. <laughs> Ugh. I feel like I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted some warning. <laughs> I get those shoulders back. Square rat. Worked up a heavy sweat. Got to go shower. Square rat, thank you so, so much for bringing your community over here, my friend. 
I can't wait to stop in and catch a stream. GG on getting a workout in. Have a beautiful evening. It's a bit graphic, not too bad visually. Give you a choice to skip the character suicide path. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, some folks uh, definitely do not need to see that if, if they don't have to, right? <laughs> I didn't mean to stare directly into the camera. I don't know if I just was. <laughs> Sorry about it if I did. A little weird. Queen TI3 suggested the raid today, so hype to them. Oh, thank you, Queen. I don't know if you're still here, but thank you so much for suggesting this. Suggesting. Thank you for being suggestive. Excuse me. Really interested in the quarry it has Twitch integration. I may get it. Does quarry have Twitch integration? I can't remember if it does. It's it's really good though, Psycho. I don't think I'll end up playing it, but um, I've really enjoyed watching playthroughs of it. It's got what like 150 different endings, basically. As I understand it. This is just like incredible. Absolutely. Incredible. <sighs> May have to get it just for that alone. Yeah, so they, there's a, and I, I listened to a gaming podcast. Um, they did an episode about it. And what they do is like, you have to play through the game like all the way through. You have to play the game all the way through. And then after that, you can turn on director mode, where basically, like, you can set all of the characters. You can give them, like, stats. And then they make all of their own decisions based on, like, dice rolls that are based on their stats. Um, and you can just, like, let the game play itself. And apparently it's just, like, a, a really cool experience to, like, make builds and then just let the world take care of itself. <sighs> What's a Bluetooth square mic that everyone seems to have? Hey Jack, how you doing? This is a this is the Rode Rode Wireless Two. Um, if you are planning on buying it from like Best Buy or any like larger retailer, make sure you do a little bit of price searching because you shouldn't you shouldn't pay more than two hundred and thirty for this mic. Um, there's like a I, this this one came with a two pack. Right, because I knew that eventually, at some point, I was going to bring folks over here to to do co-streaming. Um, but yeah, it's it's a little pricey. But essentially, like when I did uh, Twitch Rivals judging, I put my Twitch Rivals paycheck into um, into buying these mics. I was like, easy, easy come, easy go. I guess that was my that was how I did it. Okay, so we're going to do a dumbbell incline press, a tricep push down, a serratus press up, and a V-sit pass around for our final portion of the lift today. Um, but Jack, how are you doing, friend? It's good to see you. You've been getting it in on the development streams. Sounds like your workouts have been going well, huh? <laughs> are there other streamers in your area? Yeah, actually. Um, one that I've been meaning to uh, get together with is uh, Holder Heck. Um, I'm out of the hospital. So I remembered you saying you were you were in for a little bit. Is that, how, how long were you in? I didn't tell you I was in the hospital, did I? I thought you mentioned it in another person's stream, but. Uh, yeah, I'm a, how, how long were you in for? I'm loving my new landmine and barbell. Maybe a little too much. Have you, uh, have you named them? It's okay to name your equipment. Just throwing that out there. Nothing wrong with naming your gym equipment. I never did name the barbell. I think a part of me wanted to eventually make that like something that we did on Twitch together. 
it's more than possible if you're getting the word around. So the development streams actually do an exercise stream at the end of those. Oh, sick, okay. Yeah, because it seemed like you were kind of blending both. But I'm glad you're I'm glad you're out of the hospital. Are you are you feeling a little bit better or are you just kind of are you just managing at this point, you know? Like not in the hospital, but uh still not totally recuperated. Ugh. All right. All right, we're gonna do a rope push down. With uh, not a lot of weight on here. I think I'm gonna start with 50. I really do not have a lot of uh, tricep push down strength and I think it's because I didn't do them for a long time. But uh, that's okay. I am more than my numbers. Even if my numbers make me a little sad. I'm gonna swap my, um, ah, you know what? I'm trying to be conscious of like, if I'm making this choice because of laziness and I don't wanna move this stuff around. But I think this is the right call. All right, place this here. I'm going to put 40 pounds in the dumbbell. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Brandon Gamer 009, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Monday and Tuesday, I do an hour of jump rope. Wednesday, I do calisthenics stream. Thursday, I do a high intensity cardio stream. What do you normally work in for your hit? If I could ask you, I feel like I'm asking you so many questions, Jack. Feel free to ignore all of these. But I just want people to know what you're doing, you know? You got good chats over there. Jack's good people. Ugh. Yeah, so for Jack and for anyone else who is just kind of joining later on in the stream, we're doing a... We're doing a deload this week. I hit 30 miles of running last week, which was uh, which was a big goal, one that I knew I was going to have to hit as part of marathon training, but still kind of struggled to conceptualize like when it was going to happen. Um, and as a result, I'm feeling a little beat up. So I'm going to take it easy this week, just do some recovery. Kind of go through the motions on some lifts, get good range of motion, lift with good form. Ugh. Uh, seven might be the number. Uh, burpees until I need something harder. Perfectly honest, get my heart rate up to 181 to three times, as of right now at least. Half afraid that high-intensity cardio is what put me in the hospital. Doctor says to make sure to drink a lot of water. Or I got me has some Gatorade while working out. Yeah, it's important to stay hydrated. Um, and it's a... Uh, Especially when we're doing really high intensity stuff, we get a lot more burned out than we think. Hatcha. Do some serratus presses.
Ooh. I know this is not good, but I'm going to skip core today. Brandon Gamer, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. It's a, it's a little long right now. I definitely need to get a haircut. Clean it up a little bit. Uh, I was actually hoping to do that tonight, but they got moved around. So I'll just be a little sloppy. That's fine. How's your night going? Welcome in. All right, we got three more or two more sets of that. Keeping it light. I could probably do some some V-tucks on the edge of the bench, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, we'll keep it keep it tight. Okay. Ah. I know this seems kind of like, yeah, you did the wellness minute on it, so whatever. But uh, I'm planning on cooking some potatoes tonight. I do love potatoes. Mm. I was trying to decide whether to make like air fryer fries. Or actually, like, roast them up. <sighs> Follow a little bit better. Whoa! Sorry, y'all. Well, you got me. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. Well, <sighs> Do it. <clears throat> Woo. Don't want to burn those out. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? Evo. Oh, my gosh. Do it. Evo, what's up, buddy? How we doing? Oh, Popo, thank you so much for the resub. Shut up, Harry, do a dipper. Legend of Louise, David, Gaston, Tech Mag, how we doing? Shut up, Harry, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Time for you to do an impression of Chris's husband, Joey. David. Why oh, you gotta do me like this? Matt Alpha Wolf, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Run Club. Uh, Raiders, how we doing? My name is Joe. I go by Cool Runnings here on Twitch. Use he, him pronouns. I'm a variety streamer. And welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Monday Lift. We lift on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, play games on Tuesdays and Sundays. How are you doing? I'm doing this for the viewers. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> You're lying to yourself. You're lying to me. <laughs> well, welcome, David. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. I have. I'm not denying your request. I'm not denying your request by any means. Evo, how was your stream, friend? Evo's viewers want a show. They get a show. It was nice. What did you do today? What did you do today? It would be a whole bunch of jobs. <laughs> you did upper body. Oh, I love it. I love it. I think we could, we could work in some rows. Yeah? Could work in some rows. It's a little bit of... A little bit of rows. Yeah. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm a pharmacist. Ugh, here's your other half of it. <laughs> That's a nice 
personality. <laughs> did you catch it, David? I hope you did. Well, welcome in, Raiders. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Ugh. Need Joey to be the judge for these impressions. Are you just like going to every fitness streamer and asking them to do Joey impressions now? That's not an accusation. I just want to know if I'm being evaluated. <laughs> like if I'm getting a letter grade, I'd like to know up front. I'm innocent. Okay, sure. 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 Good music. Oh, thank you, Ev. Ev, what was on your playlist? Like Miley Cyrus would say. Innocent. I also know if he's top of the class. <laughs> Dip, I just did it. So much random stuff today, yeah? Like what? Tell me all about it. Tell me all about it. I'm gonna ditch for this last little set here. I like Britney Spears. Oh, no. Evo can defend me. See, that's the thing though. Ev is biased. Of course he'll defend you. Of course he'll defend you. Uh, we got one more set of presses. <laughs> it's not biased. <laughs> uh, goodness. Evo, before you go, I have to ask what you're having for dinner. What are you cooking up? Yo, we're in a deload this week, so everything is nice and easy. Trying to rest up. Get ready to come back at it harder next week. You bro bros got each other's back, bro. 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 Tell me about it, bro. Oh. I'm not good at this one. Sheesh, sheesh. I over seasoned the broccoli. But it was still good. Oh no, I didn't realize. I didn't realize ads that it was ad time. Wow. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sorry about it, friends. Ugh. The chicken is perfect, though. Yes, Don, I feel like you are becoming a masterful macro chef. Serrated presence. I am one with the force, and the force is with me. I am one with the universe. Be here in the glorious house of gains, and you will find Nirvana. I have an air fryer, an iron chef. I may have to audition. I mean, that's the future, right? That's, that's, that's got to be like something that happens in the future. Like a guarantee. You know what? Here's, here's, here's the Cool Runnings guarantee. In the next 
15 years, there will be a competition, not, not like on traditional TV, but like on the internet somewhere of like, who can use like, like millennial conventional, uh, like mid 2010s, 2020s, like cooking equipment, like the most effectively to make like the quickest meal with the fewest ingredients that taste the best. <laughs> can you pop your pecs? I mean, sort of. I'm not, uh, I'm not super great at it. I'm not as good as like Ari is, you know, or like B-Wolf. They're really good at it. No one's doing a lot of work. Really, air fryers made dieting so much easier and tastier than I would have thought. It really, like, cooking does, cooking, uh, the cooking method does matter. It's huge. Uh, but I'm really glad it's working for you, Gaston, because, uh, you know, it shouldn't have to be hard. I think we're going to use the air fryer for something tonight. I just, like, can't, uh, I haven't figured out what it is that we're going to make. And that's the, uh, that's the challenge. That's the challenge. All right, friends. I am going to uh, get on over and start making a little bit of food. Um, joining the wifey for the evening. We are going to bring y'all over to see. Hmm. Who should we go see tonight? Let's go see. Da, 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 da. Hmm. I'm thinking, wait, where'd they go? Oh, yeah, okay. Hey, Jen. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Dinner time. <laughs> Vanilla beef, it's okay. The huge say potatoes, I've done that with some parsley and salt and pepper, and it was really good. Y'all, thank you so, so much uh, for hanging out with me today. Hang on a second, I need two hands. We're going to bring y'all over to, uh, to see Vu Strong. Uh, Vu is uh, Vu's a power lifter. Um, good dude um, is trying to get like strong and, and live a long life to, so that he can play with his kids and, and all that good stuff. I hope it's okay that we go and see Vu tonight. Um, thank you so much for joining. If you would be so kind as to grab uh, one of these raid messages. Uh, this first one, excuse me. Come on, I can't type. This first one, if you're not a subscriber, the second one, if you are a subscriber, it's going to look a little bit like that. Uh, it's going to look a little bit like that. If you want to follow us on the social medias, we got Twitter, we got Instagram, uh, we got all this good stuff. I am on TikTok, but I'm bad at TikTok, but you should follow me on TikTok anyway. We also have a YouTube channel with a lot of good stuff, uploading stuff to YouTube every day. Old VODs, new VODs, all that good stuff. It's a lot easier way to keep up with the content as well. Uh, and if you want to get in on Discord, we have some lovely folks in the community that would love to share their interest with you, their art, their food, their uh, pets. Um, I'm going to put a picture of Evie on there tonight. I guarantee it. And all of the routines that I do during the stream, I put into the Discord. Um, so you can look at them and have them on hand if you want to. So with that, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Hope you have a great rest of your week on purpose. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to someone else. Do a little something that fills your tank and tell someone that you care about them. It could really make their day. We're going to go see Vu. Have a good rest of your night, y'all. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.